welcome back. Today I will be giving you a rundown on the capacitor bank from Ender.io. So first we take a look at how to get hold of it. To get the capacitor bank you're going to need four double layer capacitors, four electrical steel ingots and a block of redstone and to get hold of the double layer capacitors you're going to need two energetic alloy ingots, two basic capacitors and a piece of pulverized coal and to get a whole basic capacitor you're going to need four gold nuggets, a piece of copper and two pieces of grains of infinity. Now what you're going to do is go place your capacitor bank down wherever it is and now if we have a look inside as you can see this is how much energy this capacitor bank can hold which is five million but this is tiered so therefore cannot input and output more than 5,000. If I try to say 6,000, it just goes back to 5,000. But what we can do is you can change the input if you wanted to, to say 400. And now if we change the output to, I don't know, whatever you want, say seven. As you can see, it has a redstone mode so you can toggle whatever you want and if you hit the configure IO button as you can see you can scroll around this block and click it go input output and X basically just means it's disabled so it won't work if it's on none it can input and output it's not confined to a certain task like the blue red head out of it now what you could do is place it again on top yep as you can see, you can make this a multi-block structure, big as you freaking want. Now, if we have a look inside it, you can see it's all the way up to 20 million. That's a big battery bank. Now, if you grab your Yeti wrench, what you can do is you can change the mode from the outside. So if we right click, as you see, we have blue there. So, and the disabled one there. How cool is that? So that is basically how you use the capacitor bank and you can plug anything into this really. It takes RF. If you have an older version of the capacitor bank, you may be able to charge four tools at a time. This is my favorite type of power. I use this in all of my tutorials. It's such simple to use. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And just some notes about it. Just as a reminder, it has a max in and output of 5,000 when it's by itself, not when it's in a multi block structure. You can change the configuration inside and outside. On the outside, you'd have to use the Yeti wrench. And charging times, this is for the basic capacitor. So for all you guys, when you first make one, I reckon you'll make the basic one. The charging time using a coal generator with no upgrades it took 20 minutes and 53 seconds with maxed out upgrades it took 5 minutes and 12 seconds so i hope this has helped you in learning about the capacitor bank and and last but not least if we grab the yeti wrench and we shift right click there we go we can pick the guy up as always until next time guys sit tight